is best known as Lieutenant Van Buren from NBC's Law and & Order and as Reba the Mail Lady from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Recently, <laughs> recently she played against our very own Andy Richter on Celebrity Jeopardy and we thought we've got to find out the behind the scenes story of that matchup. Please welcome S.E. Patha Merkerson. <laughs> Your name, your name is interesting. You're, you're going with just the initial. Yeah. Which a lot of times means you're running from the law. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, okay. No, it's just my family never called me by that name, so I just got used to using the name Epeth. I mean, yes, you know, with, yeah. with a name like Conan, you know, it's a very unusual name. Believe me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, beaten constantly by yeah. other kids. So you could have gone by whatever your... What's your middle name? Christopher. So, C. Christopher. Now, that's kind of cool. No, I thought, yeah, C. Christopher O'Brien is... I actually thought like, if I had gone into writing or something, I would have been C. Christopher O'Brien. Yeah, like... A new suspense novel. Well, and it's a... You know, people always want to know, what does it mean? What does it mean? Right, S. right. Just, just ask. Just plain Just leave S. it at ask. Yeah. Now, uh, we have to ask about this. We have to talk about it. Cause, okay. Because it's on everyone's mind. All right. Uh, Andy played uh, in a matchup on Celebrity Jeopardy. How long ago was this? October? Yes, yeah, November, like that. There Maybe October. Yeah. And the matchup was Andy, mm -hmm. you, and Brian Dennehy. Right. And uh, Andy won. Andy, Andy did very well. Andy did very well. And he did. He did. And... You've my, my brain. Yeah. You're <laughs> good. Your brain, very smart. Very yes. Very good brain. So, um, I'm curious, what do you think was the secret? You know, Andy likes to talk a tall story. Let's hear from you. What do you think was the secret for Andy's, Andy's winning? Well, one of the things that we talked about that I think is probably the thing is that he does a lot of PlayStation. And see, it doesn't matter what you he know. He sometimes does it during the show. <laughs> Sometimes I'm talking to a guest, and he's over there like, bloop, bloop, bloop. We'll see there. And it, it doesn't matter. You can know everything on the board, but if you can't get in, you just lose. And Andy just, he had us beat. Like, he, his reaction was um, amazing. He's just got, like, a hyper-developed Like, thumb. totally, totally. Yeah. It's like, like, from here up, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> right there. He was fabulous, though. It, I mean, the minute those lights came on, it was like, Andy? Andy? Yeah. It really He's a machine. Kind of got on my nerves, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got on your nerves. Well, but you know, Brian Dennehy was fine with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk sweating about... Sweating bullets. Let's, let's talk about that. Did Dennehy handle it all well? I think he was sweating bullets. Yeah. I, you know... I he, watched the tape, and he looked like he was having a complete nervous breakdown. Yeah, it was different. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I think I think Brian was there to, like, you know, kick butt and leave with the prize. And, right. And so he was... He was sweating bullets. He took a swing at Andy afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he, he did. Made, he made a great comment though at the at the last question, if you remember, it was on directors, and and I can't remember exactly how it. It was something about he's celebrating his 100th birthday, Friday the 13th, something like that. And at 100th birthday, I immediately thought George Abbott, and then I went film. No, it can't be George Abbott. Friday the 13th, Wes Craven, and then went, oh my God, I had just enough time to write Hitchcock, which was the right answer, and right. Brian. Then he turns to me at the end and he goes, you know, you'll never work for Wes Craven. And I thought, oh my God, it's true. I said the man was a hundred years old. <laughs> you'll get work. I'm very plugged into the uh, film business. I can help you. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, one of the things, Andy took it very seriously and he was trying to do a lot of things to psych himself up before mm -hmm. the show. And we actually have footage of one of the things Andy did Ooh. to help psych himself uh, up against you in particular. Let's take uh, a look at this clip. I think you'll, you'll see. She's a real problem. I don't know what you're going to do. I took a scene from Law and & Order and I uh, doctored it a little just uh, to help motivate me. Watch this. I found something. It's a handwritten note in her Palm Pilot. It's the bomb, call me, and it's signed Kelly. There's a phone number and a time, 12.30 last night. Da, 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 da. Well, her parents said the little angel went to bed at 10.30. Da, da, da. That's a good, good trick. 
No, no, I that can't. Was, yep. See, I wouldn't have given you that high <laughs> yeah. five if I'd known well, that. He's a Sorry. cruel man. And, and be honest, Andy, when you hear me talking, that's all you hear, right? <laughs> this last well, six years. Yeah, a lot of the time. <laughs> you know, Andy, actually, it's funny, Andy mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago, he made a reference to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you quickly mm -hmm. what it's, what it's, I met him, we had him on our show in, in when we did our Los Angeles show. I didn't really get to know him. You worked on Terminator 2 with him. Can you tell us any like behind the scenes story about Arnold? Well, there was one thing that happened that I thought was really cool. We were sitting at the table at one of the scenes where I wasn't screaming. And he, uh, Eddie Furlong was teaching him tongue twisters. Right. And I just leaned across the table and said, unique New York. Unique New York. Yeah. Okay. And he, unique, unique. <laughs> okay, he goes. So later on, the house has been blown up, people are dead, there's blood everywhere, we've torn up these people's homes, I mean, it's just mayhem. And Jim Cameron yells out, quiet, I want everybody quiet! And in the back, you hear, nu -nu -nu. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need New York! <laughs> nah! I can't make it work! I will crush you now! <laughs> Uh, well, Law and Order, of course, Wednesdays at 10 on NBC. And uh, do you go by S? E just go by Epatha? Epatha. Epatha, really nice to have you on the show. My pleasure. Frank Thank Holden you. Media. Nice job. S.E. David Riverson, everybody. We'll be right back. Hardy Lang going to be here from North.